Yo, here we are. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're dicking around though. We're just, you know, all fiddle with this, fiddle with that, like doing all this fucking shit we don't really need to do to make it move forward and backwards, but you know, we're finding as much way as we can to waste time. That's for sure. But yeah, the per like this is the episode where a bit later we decide that yeah, that's our name. That's our name, G Clamp. And that's the G Clamp garage there. No, there. Maybe. That's just the staging area, that one, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so. You know, we, we're gonna, like. Gonna break something. For sure. Yeah. And. We'll just ride with it. So as planned, pulled this out, gasket just came out perfectly, as expected. Oh, hang on. No, it just was fucking mush and stuck in there and fucking just been dicking around for 15, 20 minutes cleaning it. Nice brand new rebuilt thermostat housing. Thermostat just looks fucking rooted. It was stuck open. Temperature gauge didn't seem to do anything when I ran it for probably 10 minutes or so too. So there we go. That's uh, however much that costs, 50 bucks probably. Bullshit taking process shit these days. Um, but that's not hindering us because well, we don't have a spare gasket. But there's our gasket for now because we're going to change it anyway. That's all good. I was thinking about dicking around and getting the hose and fucking blah, blah, blah. No, no, just fucking no. It's time not to dick around, but I did fucking get in there and waste a bit of time fucking cleaning more shit. Looks a lot better. Um, it'll be less dirty when I go to fucking work on it. I fix her up. It's not leaking too much, so the rag's just there. That's all cleaned up, ready to go. The thermostat's all cleaned up, ready to go, so we'll button that up and let me start fucking plugging everything back in. Then we, then that's it. Then we, then we, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we're out of time. Where did we get to? Oh yeah, that thermostat housing, brand new, smacked her in. Easy peasy. Oh no, that's right. This fucking bolt snapped. Fucking beauty. And it's threaded into the. At least not the block. Another piece there, but so we've just gone and done the right thing and fixed. That's that will work fine. That'll be fine to flush it with, hopefully. It's probably gonna fucking leak anyway, it doesn't have a gasket in there. Let's bodge it up properly. So we'll just fucking roll with that, I guess. And I was talking to the wreckers and they had one down there, so I might just have to replace this whole piece. Fuck, they're probably only charge me 20 bucks or something. I can just see more shit fucking snapping out of there, partner. I need to take a bunch of tools down there to do it, eh? That's just like a fucking sensor that'll just be fused in there and fucking just dig around on the 
I'll oh, just let me cut it out, eh? Disco, disco, cut, cut, yeah. Life's easy at the wreck, isn't it? Just work it out. But, yeah, I nearly give up just then. And I was like, oh, that just, it's just got a nice little bit there to clamp her on, eh? Where is it? In there somewhere? If we can get it, we'll go upside down. There we go. Just put that fucking brand new. The bolt, you know, snapped off nicely there at the top. It's a bit sticking out, but that's a thread coming out of there, so. That's not getting fixed today. But I think everything else we should be able to work around, and I don't think that clamp camper later will be eating away too much. Maybe just like the air cleaner hose or something, like that might be in the way. That's fixed, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's jiggle around some wires a bit, and then we'll jangle that fucking radiator back in. I think. Let's see what else we can break. So, I put this thing away. I don't even have to use it. I'm fucking done with the shit. And then I busted a bolt, and I said, look, you know, we fixed that with a clamp, so that's fine. But, I'm just about to put this slave cylinder back in, and I don't want to break these bolts. So I've just been <laughs> done the right thing, and I've cleaned out all these threads. And, yeah, fingers crossed, we're looking at that in in a minute. All right, it's about 8.30. We're progressing well. We're just going to adjust that light a bit, I think, so we can get a gander on this thing. All right, we're not as far as it looks. We're just test-fitting everything, just making sure we've got everything. We're sort of, don't trip over your trolley, I'm sort of trying to put it there out of the way. Radiator. Dun -dun. That's the battery tray that just sits there. Just sits there. It's the covers for the fuse boxes, relay boxes. Fan trout. So we'll slowly dismantle this again, I guess. So that all goes in there, that's fine. And we've got our sad cable back in. Got our happy cable that doesn't look too happy. We might just have to give that a quick little scrub. Let's just tuck that out of the way so we can see what we've got going on here. Don't catch it on that one. Show you what I did in here. Come on, baby, get out of the way. Just don't grab that. I know you like the positive, but I know you like the happy cable. It's not time yet. Um, we just did some checking to make sure, you know, this re-engineering fix there is going to work. So that all fits and that's good. Get that out of the way. This all fits, which is good. Okay, I didn't lose the bolts. Just give it a quick blowout. That'll do. It's good enough. So now, I'll probably have that back out at some stage. Um, we've got all the, we've connected up everything else. We've just got those to go back into the relay box. But yeah, we plugged this um, reverse, that's a reverse sensor. We've got this sad cable back in through here and under here. We didn't worry about that bolt. We didn't break any bolts when we did up this. It was a little bit of a tricky one, eh? It was, because that I think it's extended out. Maybe that was my fault because I pushed the clutch. But yeah, she took a bit of scorching in there. So hopefully that's okay, that bracket went in okay. We'll just, you know, we'll push these ones in that we mentioned before that we hadn't pushed in yet. Dizzy ones have connected back up again. This one that's just hanging out here, that's for the math, that's a math sensor, that's on the air box, the diagnostics is back in there. That condenser's plugged back in. So the cable's gonna go where the sad cable goes. Happy cable's gonna go where the happy cable goes. I've got to plug all this stuff back in. I might just... Yeah, radiator. Radiators, get that in, get rid of that rag, because you don't need rags in there anymore. And no more cleaning, that's it, that's done. And yeah, it's gonna kick her on soon. Gotta put the wheels on actually, drop it down. I might actually do that for a child. I might do that next, because I don't need to get underneath it anymore. So maybe just one more check. Just to check that I didn't miss anything, which I'll probably miss anyway, so pointless really, isn't it? A waste more time. But yeah, we're pretty happy that she's all coming back together. We just found that I was missing 
not sure if that was a bolt or whether that, I think that's probably just maybe even a clip that broke in the past because I don't remember pulling anything out of there. That could have possibly been that bolt, but that bolt's perfectly in there and there's no other bolt for that. So we are sorted there. She's going back together just like she came apart. Yeah. It's extra. It's, yeah, it's a factory option. works it works if not it'll just leak a little bit I think I don't it's, it's gonna fucking blow cooling outside there or anything I'll you know. just turn her off anyway so that's fine she's gonna get out of the garage anyway let's uh let's keep going just remember not to take it down for a drive down the road maybe <laughs> yeah alright Let's go.